Well, the first units that began to traverse the Confederate lines and to move into that no man's land were the pioneers. And there were about 50 of them. They have that white stripe down the back of their uniform so they can be identified for the men that will come behind them. They're carrying these large broad axes with them. And as they move out uh, across that line, they come to the chevaux de frise. And they've got to start chopping and hacking that chevaux de frise away. At the first rush, the rebels went through the line of Chabot de Free and overwhelmed the outer pickets. Corporal of the Guard, report! The supports behind our lines of Abati heard the racket and hollered out in the darkness. There ain't no farm boys out there! An alarm was sent back to the fort for the men ordered to get up and come to the firing step. Hurry up! Hurry up! Get up! Get up! There's Confederates in their line! Move! Grab your rifle! Out in front, the rest of the picket line was killed or captured, the enemy overwhelming our men in less time than it takes to tell it. George Kilmer, 14th New York Heavy Artillery. Although it required but a few minutes to reach the Union works, those minutes were to me like hours of suspense and breathless anxiety. But soon was heard the thud of the heavy axes as my brave fellows slashed down the federal obstructions. General John D. Gordon. 